If you ever come across one of those games that looks super awesome, you've just got to play it, but it's just not out yet. So, eh, you know, I'll wait. And so you do, but you forget about it. Yeah. Control was one of those games for me. I was suddenly reminded about this game's existence and how much I paid for it when I saw it for sale on Steam. Considering I had purchased but never played this, and it's now selling so inexpensively on Steam, I had to ask myself, was it a worthy purchase? Or had I, wah wah, lost control? How's it going? It's Hesh from No Frills, and this is Refund Window, where I play a game for the duration of the two hour Steam refund window. If it's good, I keep it. If not, into the bin it goes. Today I'm checking out Control, a third person sci-fi action adventure game where you get to play with some pretty cool powers. Let's check it out. Right out of the gate, this one kind of had me scratching my head. I'm not sure if I missed an intro scene or, or what. Maybe I hit a button but it kind of kicks you off right into the game. It does set up the context of what you're about to get into a tiny bit, just enough to make you curious. That I kind of like. Hopefully it works for this one. The characters and the environmental design are very, very well taken care of. And I noticed as I'm walking around this place that there's a lot of stuff for me to pick up. There's materials that I can use. I don't know for what quite yet, and uh, a lot of little files and information to be read. I think this is how you're meant to get all of the gaps filled in the story as it unfolds. And so far, it seems to be pretty cool. Considering how fluid the character control is and how fast you're able to move, which thank you developers, I, I really like that. It's given me uh, an indication of how the combat's going to be. You've got this really, really crazy melee attack. I did not expect this coming out of the gate at all. Super powerful. I actually got a little carried away with it at one point. Kind of ran around some offices just destroying people's desks. Uh, sorry about that, Tim. I'll clean that up for you on Monday. I picked up a pistol and this thing is stupid satisfying to use. It also never runs out of ammo. It has a little bit of a recharge. That's awesome. It makes you think about what you're going to do. The combat does feel uh, a bit dangerous there. I got my butt whooped on more than one occasion and it doesn't feel artificially difficult in any way at all. That's just me screwing up. I love it. I was a bit disappointed to find out that you're gonna be essentially constrained to this building. But once I started getting my powers, it all started to make a little bit more sense and the fun ramped way, way up. Using your telekinesis in conjunction with your gun is amazing and being able to break off chunks of things using your melee and then pick up the chunk and slam an enemy in the face with it, yeah, I'm all about that. There's some pretty sweet upgrades and abilities that you can get along the way. Hopefully they really elevate the gameplay and the chaos to a whole new level. Sometimes they fall flat, but I'm not so sure here. My first encounter with a boss type character had him uh, handily handing me my ass and uh, forced me to kind of cheese him a little bit. Actually, I, I died so many times. I was like, hey, I'm just going to shoot him through this crack until he's about dead. Super fun. And I'm going to try to take him head on next time. Sounds like a pretty cool but run of the mill game with some special powers. Ooh, who hasn't seen that before? What makes this one special, if anything? Although it took me a little bit to get used to the controls, once I did, I was having a blast just kicking everybody's butts all over the map. I love the fact that you can destroy things. Why did that go away in games? I have no idea. But there's a fair amount of destruction to be had here, and it is awesome. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of crazy power combinations I can come up with. And uh, the story definitely seems to be weird enough to keep me hooked. Uh, there's something weird going on here. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's pretty cool. Of course, I have to mention the explosions, and they are just juicy enough to make me think, ha, huh, I can make one bigger, so I'm gonna try. This one, I'm gonna keep for sure, because there's just too much left for me to do, too much fun to be had, and I definitely have to figure out what the hell's going on in this building. I know you're thinking, how the hell can you refund it if you've been sitting on it for so long? Well, I can't, but that's not the premise of the show. I gave it two hours to hook me, and it did, so I'm glad it turned out to be money well spent. Play it. How's it going, it's Hash. If you liked what you saw even a tiny bit, do me a favor, shoot me a like and a sub, and if you're feeling awfully generous, give me a share, man. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.